Hi, I'm Mike Chappell, and in this Cert Mike Explains video, I'm going to tackle a topic that appears on many certification exams, maturity models. Now, every organization is at a different state in its maturity, and different functions within the same organization may be more or less sophisticated. If you think about your own organization, I'm sure that you're going to realize this is true. There are things that you're really good at, and there are areas where you know that you have some room to improve. The reality is that organizations grow and mature just like people do. It's really helpful if we can have a tool that allows us to measure how mature different functions within our organization are and where we have those opportunities to develop. That's where maturity models come into the picture. Maturity models provide a way for organizations to evaluate themselves against a standard benchmark and identify the next steps in evolving their practices. Now, maturity models were originally developed to evaluate software development programs, and they are still widely used for that purpose, but they're now also used in many other areas as well. Importantly for us, organizations use maturity models to evaluate their security and privacy programs. The most widely used maturity model today is the Capability Maturity Model Integration, or CMMI. CMMI was developed by researchers at the Carnegie Mellon University to help organizations identify where they are in the maturation process. It consists of five different levels. Initial, managed, defined, quantitatively managed, and optimizing. Earlier versions of CMMI, as well as its predecessor, CMM, were focused only on software development. But the current version of CMMI is much broader, and we can still use it for software development, but as I mentioned, we can also use it for security and privacy, as well as product development, supply chain management, acquisition, service delivery, and other functions. CMMI does allow organizations to evaluate their maturity using a scale that has five levels. Initial, managed, defined, quantitatively managed, and optimizing. I'm going to cover each one of those in more detail, but before I do, I just want to take a moment to invite you to visit my website at certmike.com. On that site, I have free study plans put together to help you earn your next technology certification. The plans tie together the content that you'll find in study guides, video courses, and practice tests to help you prepare for your next certification exam and pass that test on the first try. Also, if you're enjoying this Cert Mike Explains video, please take a moment to click the like button below to help other people discover it. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be among the first to see my new videos as they come out. When an organization is at level one, initial, they are just getting started with formal practices. They get their work done, but work commonly experiences delays and budget overruns. The next step in an organization's development is to move to level two, managed. In this phase, they begin some basic processes, such as reusing code between projects. Some of the key activities that begin in this phase include configuration management, measurement and analysis, project monitoring and control, project planning, process and product quality assurance, requirements management, and supplier agreement management. Level three brings an organization to the defined stage. At this point, they have formal, documented practices for many process areas. The activities in this level include decision analysis and resolution, integrated project management, organizational process definition, organizational training, organizational process focus, product integration, requirements development, risk management, technical solution, validation, and verification. Level four organizations are quantitatively managed. They use quantitative measures to evaluate their progress and they understand the effectiveness of their development practices. The activities in this phase include organizational process performance and quantitative project management. And finally, level five organizations are optimizing. They use continuous process improvement to strive to always get better. Feedback from projects flows back into their development processes, allowing them to improve with each new project. Practices here include causal analysis and resolution and organizational performance management. I hope this video helped you better understand the capability maturity model integration. If it did, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more IT certification content.